Hey, it's Joe from PocketNow.com with an Android quick tip. Alright, today we actually have two quick tips. And they're both regarding multitasking. Now, in case you don't know, multitasking is the ability of an operating system to do more than one thing at once. For example, you could be reading your email while you're on a phone call or surfing the web while you're streaming Pandora. Now, Android has had this built in since the very, very early days. But to be able to swap between the apps, you could either go back home and launch it by tapping from your home screen or the app drawer, but that's kind of cumbersome and it has extra steps that you don't need to do. To quickly switch between running apps, press and hold the home button. Doing that brings you your recently run apps. Now, most of the time you're going to have two rows of three icons each. So a total of the last six run apps. You can see here, I've got eight. The reason for that is I'm running Cyanogen Mod 6, which has the default at eight. But here's another cool thing. First of all, if I want to change between any of these, I just tap and I can easily switch to that other app to switch back, press and hold home, switch to another one, really easy. With Cyanogen Mod, I can do something even cooler than that. I can change the number of these apps. So to do that, I'm going to go back home, I'm going to tap the menu button and go to settings, and from here you'll notice a new option called Cyanogen Mod settings. We're going to tap on that go to input settings because that's an input button and then long press home settings kind of cryptically named but when you think about it I'm long pressing on the home button so that makes sense we'll tap on that we can show the title or not if we want to save a little bit of space and then over here the number of recent apps right now it's set to 8 that's the default I can do 12 or I can even do 15. We'll do 15 just to show you. And if I wanted to, I could override the default behavior with another app. Uh, so if you want Long Press Home to always open your web browser, uh, you could potentially do that. We're going to leave that as is though. And then we're going to go back home. And now we're going to Long Press on the Home button. And look at that. You've got a much larger grid of apps that I've recently run. Now that's advantageous if you are a heavy user and switch between an awful lot of apps like I do, but you have to take into consideration that now there are a lot more icons for you to visually sort through to be able to switch between apps. So kind of judge that, play around with it and see if 8 is faster for you to switch between apps or maybe you want to compromise between 8 and 15 and go with 12. So. Go ahead and give that a try. For Pocket Now and Quick Tips, I am Joe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this kind of information and stop by pocketnow.com to see all kinds of other tips, tricks, and smartphone news.